Did you realize comic books are having a moment? In fact, they've become the inspiration for Hollywood's top blockbusters. And this weekend, right here in Pittsburgh, comic book lovers are uniting to celebrate the creators that make it all happen. Daisy helps us read the fine print of this unique event. Well, we are here at New Dimension Comics, surrounded by comic books, because it's that time of year again for Three Rivers Comic Con. And I'm here with the promoter of the event, John Engel. John, thanks for allowing us in the store. I'm really excited because it's been a while since you guys have, have had a show in person. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's been two years since we've had one in, indoors. Mm -hmm. We did have our outdoor shows, but right. um, our uh, we're back indoors and we're moving downtown to the convention center and we're real excited. Yeah, you guys are growing, so tell us what we can expect. Oh man, so we have over 120 comic artists coming, um, including some of the guys in my hand, which I'll show in a second. Um, but we also have 70 plus vendors coming and half of them are comic book vendors. Wow. So there's going to be something you can find. There's all kinds of other nerd stuff to buy. Um, some of these guys that are uh, coming in our artist alley are legends, legends mm -hmm. of the uh, comic community. And then also we make a craft beer for it for the VIPs. So um, we have guys like Brett Breeding who did Death of Superman, Ron Friends who did the first black suit Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man. Wow. Uh, Rick Leonardi, who created Spider-Man 2099, he drew it for the first time. And then Howard Chaikin, uh, who did American Flag, he's done Star Wars. And American Flag is actually what we're using for the uh, custom beer. You can see all that stuff on our website at ThreeRiversComicCon.com. That is really cool. I think that's what I love about you guys that makes it very unique is that custom beer. But you guys also will be having your cosplay parade on Saturday and Sunday, which is hosted by our sister station, Pittsburgh CW. I'll be part of that as well, so tell us about that. So the cosplay parade is when everybody lines up before judging and uh, they kind of just parade throughout the, the convention center. So there's an adult contest on Saturday and uh, the parade leads up to the contest. Uh, and then the uh, teens are in the early afternoon and then the children are at the uh, later part of the afternoon on Sunday. And it's awesome. Um, and uh, we have some great cosplay guests coming as well, including uh, Samurai Jill, the cosplay hobbyist, Night Mage, Pittsburgh Iron Man. Wow. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> I know. I think that's probably my favorite part of any Comic Con is getting to dress up because you'll probably see me dress up as well. But I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for letting us know all about it. Absolutely. See you there. All right. Well, you guys better get your tickets for Three Rivers Comic Con. Yeah, we better. The Three right. Rivers Comic Con is happening this weekend at the David Lawrence Convention Center, and it looks like maybe we should go. Hey, who would you dress up as? Do you have a comic book hero that you would dress up as? Oh, no. Batman? I'd be Batman. <laughs> oh. We'd be dueling well, Batman. Do, do, well, I'll be Robin. You can be Batman. <laughs> no, no. Batgirl, right? Or Batwoman. Batgirl. Or Batwoman. That's right. Batwoman? Yeah. Is there a Batwoman, too? There's a Batwoman, too. Yes. Okay. Brand See the new. things we're learning here. Well, now Saturday. Catwoman. Now I'm thinking. Okay, Catwoman. Oh, now you want to be. Oh, you want to be the bad man. <laughs> yeah, yeah I want to wear the outfit. Then. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, for more info and details on who will be there, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com, and who knows, maybe we'll be there. Yeah. All right.